the ah blue. Since I started watching One Piece, there have been a couple mysteries that intrigue me. But a big one that always stuck out to me was the all blue. It's so shrouded in mystery. And the one thing that I learned from watching One Piece, it's not what Oda tells us, it's what he likes to keep hidden. And that's what I pay close attention to. First off, I just wanna say that this is not some kind of theory video. This is just me asking questions. You know, trying to spark an idea. Because I believe ideas are one of the most powerful things on this planet. I do also understand that these ideas and concepts have probably been talked about millions of times by now. So again, I'm not trying to come up with some crazy out of this world theory that will blow your mind. The all blue is in space. Yeah, maybe. Hey yo, the all blue is in a giant well like Laboon. Kind of like that one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey yo, the all blue is in between Bo and Hancock's thighs. Every time she sees Luffy, man, little mama turns into Aqua Laguna. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 man. Chill. You're ruining the vibes. I got a little smooth jazz playing. You know, this isn't an arc video. Slow it down, puppy. You're ruining the vibes. Let's chill out for a second. Let's get back to it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. When thinking about the all blue, I wanted to use the five W's. You know, the who, what, when, where, and why. Because why not? You see, I'm already cooking, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm already doing my thing. So let's start with the easiest W. Let's start with the what. What is the all blue? To keep it simple, a ocean where fish from all the blues meet. Allegedly. That was pretty simple, guys. All right. For another one, the why. Why is the all blue? Why is the all blue? Why is the all blue important? Okay, we could do that. Well, we know to Sanji, it's a chef's paradise. It kind of makes me think of a question. Maybe you guys can answer in the comment section below, but I always think if given a choice between going to the all blue or going to Amazon Lily, which one do you guys think he'd choose? My bet is on Amazon Lily. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's not his dream to find Amazon Lily. It's his dream to find the all blue, but maybe you guys can answer for me. But let's ask another why. Why is the all blue important? Maybe the all blue holds some sort of secret. Maybe a good why to ask is why is it hidden? Maybe it was deliberately hidden. Who knows? Maybe the red line was built over the all blue. I'm almost 90% sure that the red line is artificially made. But this is not a video about the red line, so... I'll save that for another video. Now, I want to ask my favorite W, and that is the when. When is the all blue? When is the all blue going to be discovered? Well, that one's kind of hard. Only Oda knows about this one. Let's try this again. When is the all blue going to appear again? Meaning, maybe the all blue is only accessible during the Aqua Laguna. You see guys, in Water 7, there is a filler episode where Sanji gets more hints about his existence, you know? And even though it's filler, I do think it's a very important filler. Maybe, it's so hard to find, not only for location purposes, but for timing reasons as well. Maybe you have to be at a certain place at a certain time to find it. But I'll come back to the when 
in a minute or three because the when is important for me and I want to get back to it. Now, for the who, I want to change the who into a how. And I kind of cheated on this, but I could do the who if you guys want real quick, all right? Let me do it. Who's going to find the all blue? Sanji, yay! Everybody round of applause. All right. I did the who. Let's get back to the how. I find the how very interesting. Almost as much as the very, very popular where, right? How? How are there tales of the all blue? I always ask myself, how are there tales of the all blue when nobody's ever sailed it or even seen it? It's almost just like pure folklore or something, right? What's more intriguing is this, guys, is the fact that Laugh Tale, the supposed place of the One Piece, the story's greatest mystery, perhaps, has been seen in silhouette multiple times in the series, right? This is Laugh Tale, the place of the One Piece, but nothing of the all blue? It seems very strange to me, man. It seems very, very strange. This leads me to believe that the reason why the all blue is not shown is because of it having some connection to the one piece itself. Allegedly. Maybe making it a silhouette might give away too much information. It might give too much information on where it's located. I don't know. But Oda keeps things hidden. He keeps things a secret for a reason. But I just find it very strange that there is nothing on the all blue except a picture of a book that Sanji reads with a whole bunch of fish, an octopus with glasses. I, If you look at this picture, there is an island on the back of it. Maybe there's some type of foreshadowing. Who knows? Everything Oda does is for a reason. Now, let's ask the juicy question. The where? Where is the all blue? Is it on the Grand Line? Who knows? Maybe, maybe the Grand Line is the all blue itself. It's a bit of a boring answer, but I mean, technically, it is where water from all the blues flow into. So, I mean, you know. There's that. Maybe it's hidden in one of the clam belt, oh my bad, I mean the calm belt regions. But here's kind of a crackpot theory, you guys. You guys ready for this? Maybe they're super rare fish or sea dragons that only live in the all blue. Here's where I'm going with this. Maybe the warship arc foreshadow this in a way if you guys don't know about the warship arc it's the arc right before they get to reverse mountain it's like a good three or four episodes right one thing i remember the most is it's the first time that the straw hats enter the calm belt and you find out about the sea kings also it's the first arc that has actual dragons the millennial dragons maybe sea dragons and sea kings are related somehow maybe sea kings serve as protection for the all blue and i could see them protecting this sacred area here's the most popular idea and that is that the all blue is underneath reverse mountain or even maybe in reverse mountain and i could see why this is a popular idea after all there is an important scene in logtown that i think foreshadowed the all blue right and it's the one where saji goes to the logtown market right and he sees a bunch of rare fish and one of the market men tells him that basically Logtown gets fish from all the other blues due to the ocean currents bringing them in. And he basically says that Logtown is essentially in the perfect spot to get all these ocean currents. And in my opinion, this strongly implies that the all blue is close to Logtown. 
But this goes back to the when for me. Maybe Reverse Mountain needs to be destroyed somehow to free the All Blue to the world. If it is underneath Reverse Mountain. Maybe when Reverse Mountain gets destroyed, the Red Line gets destroyed as well. Maybe the Calm Belt and the Grand Line form with the other four blues creating a true blue. I'd like to call it the Grand Blue, if you will. That's a good name to it, right? It has a good catch to it. The Grand Blue. Ah, that'd be cool. Again, when Luffy destroys Reverse Mountain, maybe Sanji will open up a seafaring restaurant. Maybe he can call it the Thousand Luffy in his honor. Thousand Luffy, that doesn't have a good ring to it though. Let's try it again. Maybe, you know what? Here's a good one. The Nami Ratie. Nah, that's terrible, that's terrible. You know what? I got it. You know what he can call it, you guys? He can call it Zeph's.